Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Hello everybody, welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from the ForexPSM.com. Um, as usual we will talk about the euro currency and on the daily time frames so all events are turning and twisting around, it, around this pattern that we have discussed in the beginning of the week. This is the nice bearish engulfing and you can see that during the previous trading sessions market has not triggered it because market although it has shown some penetration of the low of that pattern so around 137.17 and couldn't close below that level. As for yesterday's the day prayer yesterday, so you can see that price action stands above that low, although that pattern has been formed even on Monday. But today we see that current price action now stands below that low of this pattern. If market will close below that low, so 137.17, then probably we could suggest the deeper retracement to the downside since this pattern will be triggered by the market. Also you can see that 37.17 is an area with the, that coincides with the monthly pivot points, so this dash line, long dash line, and this short blue line is the weekly pivot point. So market now stands below both of the weekly, uh, both of the pivots. So you can see some acceleration to the downside. Well, the nearest support area, so rather strong support, stands right here. This is 135.75, 136.14, an area of confidence support. And just below this stands weekly pivot support 1 for the current week, 135.32, it's right here. Also, this is the 50% support of that strong thrusting bar. So that an area of the significant support. And I suppose that if market uh, still will intend to continue move to the upside, since this momentum is rather nice, Okay, then probably we could suggest that uh, high probability that probably market will try to reverse back and continue move to the upside right from that area. But it's a bit early to talk about that. Now let's focus on that retracement to the downside and let's watch the situation on the intraday charts. On the daily time, or sorry, on the four hour time frame, we see that trend has turned bearish. It's right here by the MACD. Yesterday we have discussed that probably market is forming the head and shoulders pattern and uh, and if it will really will be so, so market now reverse back, can acceleration to the downside, then then uh, some surprise could wait us just below the neckline since this is the daily confidence support and now take a look at that pattern A, B, C top. This ABCD pattern, 100% extension, stands at 136.02 precisely in the same area. So that is really significant area of support. This is confidence support and agreement. So this is really strong area of support. And this could be the nice context for the Jordan Napoli direction and pattern, uh, head and shoulders failure pattern. Since when the, some strong area of support stands right below the neckline, and you know that from the classical approach to the trading of the head and shoulders pattern, uh, the target of the head and shoulders patterns usually is the distance between the neckline or top of the head that we should count to the downside. Usually it coincides with the 1618 extension from that ABCD, from the ABCD that is formed by head and the right shoulder stands in another agreement, 1618 agreement, 134.33, 134.41. But when just below the neckline stands rather significant area of support and agreement, this could lead to the failure of the head and shoulders pattern. So market just will break this neckline, reach that target, stands for, for, for a while just below this neckline and then accelerates to the upside further. Since stops will be placed just above the neckline when the market will enter on the breakout. This is the classical approach of the trading the head and shoulders. And when market will touch these stops just above the neckline, then it will accelerate to the further to the upside and will lead to the head and shoulders failure. Uh, what will be next? It's difficult to say. Uh, sometimes market travers back and accelerates to the 1618. But very often market shows the failure of this pattern and continue move to the upside. Take out the top of the right head and continue move to the upside. That's also possible. But for us, uh, the major importance and major interest stands right here. If you are enter short, as we discussed yesterday, from that area, this was 618 resistance from that swing to downside, it's from the head, 
and place stops as we said above the 138.70 since this is was the ABCD target. Now you have the nice position. I suggest you to close the positions right here. Since this for a strong area of support then probability is high that market that market will show the head and shoulders failure pattern in that area. So be extremely careful when the market will uh, start flirting with that area and reaching this 136.02 target. Okay? Now, what we could do if we still do not have the short position? On the hourly time frame, here by the way, this is our ABCD A, B, C top, D point states 137.38.70, just 80 pips above the high. So, yesterday, as you remember, we said that place the stop above that area since market could show some uh, person, some penetration of that level before turning to the downside. So, that has happened. Well, that's very thin moment. It's it's a bit uh, nuanced that uh, we should take into account when we trade the head and shoulders patterns, especially on the intraday charts, since on the intraday charts, head and shoulders um, very often has a tendency to fail. Okay, now what do we see here? Nice thrust on the hourly time frame. This red line is the MACD predict. It shows the trend is bearish since price action stands below the red line. Now let's take a look at the resistance areas. Uh, uh, okay, first on the 4 hour time frame, we see that from that pattern ABCD market has hit 618 target, 13701. You can see it right here. So currently we probably could count on some shell or retracement since market has hit some target. When will it happen, will it not? It's very difficult to predict, but uh, sometimes market shows some retracement, shell retracement from the 618 target. If this will be the case, you could try to enter from the nearest area of resistance. For, for, for instance from that area or from that area with the place stop above the 618 137.94 since you can see that trend will remain bearish right to the 137.70 area currently if market will start to retrace me to the upside it probably should stop from on that level or on, on that level since, since this is the hourly resistance the market has really nice momentum to the downside it should not break that area if it really continue to move to the downside intends to continue move to the downside. Since also this is the previous area of resistance, you can see that market stops right here. Okay? So that's nice area of resistance. Place stop above the 618 target just for some case. Since this is extended period if, uh, extended level, if market will reach that then hourly trend will shift bear uh, bullish and in that case probably we could we will not be so sh so uh, confident w with the continuation of the uh, down move. So, in other words, uh, if market really has nice momentum and tends to uh, accomplish the head and shoulders pattern, it should not break that area to the upside. Okay. If it will be the case, and if the market market will break that area, then take a look at the four-hour time frame that we have discussed yesterday. This could turn to the better fly. So, if you think that. Uh, market could create the better fly. This is left wing. If market will stop right here and accelerate to the upside, well, this could be the better fly. But the uh, rule of trading any harmonic pattern is to not anticipate it. So you could uh, trade the completion point of the better fly when it will be completed and enter short. But to anticipate this uh, patterns is extremely, it's very dangerous. So um, sometimes uh, traders enter. And that's in, in anticipation of the better fly with the stop just below this low. Since if market will accelerate to the downside, it will erase the better fly since it erased the initial swing of the better fly. But uh, I think that currently it's not it's unsafe. It's, it's not a very good idea to trade it like that. Since we see nice thrust bars to the downside, probably I suggest that this is more probable the head failure had a shovels pattern that rather than better fly. But still. If it will be the case and market accelerate further on the uh, hourly time frames will exceed the 618 resistance, 138 area to the upside, then it could really shift to the better fly pattern. But again, uh, just want to repeat that in current environment and in, in, in current pri price action as it now looks, uh, it's very probable that s still market will accomplish the head and shoulders rather than show the better fly. But anyway, um, we discussed all possible scenarios currently on the market. So if you have the nice short position, wait for the reaching of that target since I suggest that it's really a high probability that market could show the failure and a reversal in that area to the upside again. If you do not have the short position and would like to enter short, use the hourly chart 
and enter short. You could try to enter short depending on the potential retracement from that area or from that area with placing stop somewhere right here. If you are bullish and you think that market should reverse in that area, then probably you could try to trade this potential butterfly. But again, the anticipation of the harmonic patterns is very unsafe and dangerous. Mm, so this is a choice up to you to anticipate the butterfly or not or just to sit on your hands and wait for the another bullish possibility. Uh, if you are really bullish I probably look for that area to search for the buy signals in that area. Since this for distance is not very significant markets could reach it very fast. So that's all for today. Uh, keep your risk reasonable and watch for the clear patterns before the entry in any trade.